Hey guys, Brito here, welcome back to Rising Star 2. Here we are back with the Kings of Rock in Los Angeles, California this time. 150 grand cash. Um, I sold our apartment back in, um, back over here in uh, Knoxville. And I thought we'd buy an apartment in Los Angeles, but we just can't afford it. So, I don't know, we might have to have a look. See if we can afford one around here somewhere. Bakersfield, I don't think has one. Modesto, I'm not sure if they have one available. I know there's one Bakersfield for a couple of hundred thousand, but at the moment we're on tour anyway, so really doesn't matter, I suppose. So um, let's head to our first gig. Also, um, as you guys can see, sorry guys, I just ran over my headset cord with my chair. Um, as you guys can see, I painted the van. Make us look a little bit better. Uh, let's just show fur to the gig. So, playing tonight, Reason, Kings of Rock, and Excited Engines. We've got nine songs to play, and this is our normal set list, so we'll um, stick with that. Let's see how we go. I hope we can make some good money this, um, this tour. So there we go, we're already yeah, up to 65%. 99, so we're already up to 100%. We haven't even played Bone Crusher yet. Now that's pretty good. Only a thousand people though. It isn't great, but decent gig pay, uh, gig pay I should say. Um, 158 fans, gave away 13 copies. We sold 408 copies of Bone Crusher and 15 copies of our single. We sold 23 shirts as well. Now, I think with this, I think we should sell it for five bucks. Um, I'm not sure about this. Should we sell it for more because it's an album? Should we maybe sell it for 15 bucks? Um, I don't know. Let's see what happens. Maybe. Our next gig is in San Diego, so let's travel straight there. I don't know how we're going to go with them. Um, Finding a house to buy, I'm hoping we just make some decent money. Um, otherwise, we're going to have to maybe go to a smaller town and buy a house there, I guess. So, we're touring with Reason, of course. Um, I'm going to screenshot that just to make sure we know what our current set list is. I think it'll stay like this forever, pretty much. It's doing really well. Um, Polarity of songs might change, and we might make a few more new songs like Nightfire. Um, I've actually made a new song. I don't know if you guys actually seen that or not. Um, and we also went on holiday. When we came back, we didn't know any of our songs anymore. We had to re-practice them all again, which was something I haven't seen before. So another new thing I needed to learn. But got them all practice again to 100%. And um. On to what? And kicking some ass again, as you can see. So, gig pay 3,000, gave away three copies, sold 176 copies of Bone Crusher, so still pretty good. We sold 37 copies of our single and 18 shirts. Relationship with Reason and with Easy Going Thought. Right, I wonder if we can have a look. No, right, so it doesn't tell us relationship with anybody. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I thought it would tell us what our relationship is with Reason, but right, let's go to Las Vegas. Heading into Nevada. Alright, as I said, we need to find somewhere to, um, to live. Because I sold the house. We might have to go back and rebuy it. Um, if we need to, I guess, but Hopefully we won't have to. Capacity of a thousand. So let's play here in the Roger McKinley Theatre. As you can see, everything's going pretty good as far as our songs go. Um, attendance, so sold out crowd. We can absolutely smash out their performance. A little bit of a jiggle jiggle again. Merchandise stand was crazy. So 199 copies of Bone Crusher. Single sold, we sold 39 shirts as well. Awesome. Look at this. Everything. Audience enjoyed recognizing this song. Um, still got heaps of those. We only have 339 t shirts in stock, so not a great amount. 
Now, Valkyrim's gone up another level, which means he's now maximum level 30. So, um, I want to smash out some stage presence still, I think. I mean, we're doing pretty good, so... I don't know. Maybe we didn't really need to do that. Right, so today we, we have a gig at Diana Manuel Theatre here in Phoenix. My name is Adam Spinks. I manage talent in Los Angeles. Okay, so let me screenshot that so we know. Adam Spinks. So maybe we can go and have a chat with him eventually. Um, I just want to drive through here in case we see a house that's for sale. I want to pop in and see how much it's worth. Probably won't find anything. Some of these cities are huge. If you look at the map, absolutely massive. Right, play our gig again. Um, so that's the reason's 19, so that must be 19. Is that our reputation or our popularity? I think it's our popular their popularity. 19. Ours is zero, of course. We haven't played over here just yet, so. Only 8.47. It's pretty disappointing. Especially for a reason, I guess. They have, they're not even, you know, sold out. Alright, um, had a good opportunity to hang out with other bands in the lineup. So, extra relationship here. 113 copies of Bone Crusher. 39 copies of our single. Doing pretty good. Let's head to Tucson, Arizona. Mind living in Arizona. Right, there's a house for sale around the corner here. We'll head on in and see what this thing is worth. I'd rather wait and try and get something in LA directly, but it's going to cost a fortune. It's 156, which is the same as the rundown apartment we had before. So let's not worry about that. We want to get something a little bit better, not something as shabby and as crappy as we had before. So I also plan on re releasing a new album as well, but I want to try and get some songs recorded before we try and release a new album. Uh, 15%, so that's pretty good. Slow night in the merchandise counter. We had no fans in attendance. Yeah, well, it's pretty slow actually. Um, still checking our stocks. We only sold 158 of those, but that's not too bad. Considering it's only a single, so go to Albuquerque, New Mexico. I've gone up another level. Um, Austin Bess, Los Angeles. Screenshot him as well. So now I'm level 30, so that's the most I can get. Um, Chuck Bryson, screenshot him as well, just in case. Um, I think songwriting really that's the main thing what I was thinking is we get another guitarist um, maybe after this tour we'll get another guitarist I've seen some bands that have two guitarists bass lead singer and um, a drummer as well so I think if we get um, another guitarist that won't hurt at all but you guys let me know what you think should we go for a second guitarist or should we just leave it as it is no, it's up to you guys. That'll just help us get someone who's pretty good at songwriting as well. Um, Alright, sold some more CDs and some shirts. We should give us a, a total, um, like an income. So, I know we could probably count it and work it out, but... Uh, Salt Lake City is our next gig. Um, how's everyone going? Everyone's pretty good. Um, let's go to Leah's Motel. Stay here the night. 38 bucks. Cheap as anything. Um, Alright, let's have a look. So 35. It's pretty good. 34. Okay, 35. So we've got 27. 17. And 9. So 88. That's not too bad. So let's go for um, Starless... Sky, which is um, a song that was named by Atreyu, as well as Nightfire. Let me just have a look and see 
Um, let's go play skill. I think we're... Oh, we might have to go a slower song, actually. We kind of need a slow song. Or a low song. Alright. Gig tomorrow. Climbs 81 positions, 968 units sold. Really at 200 grand. Um, so New York. We don't want to go to New York, I don't think. Um, map. I don't know if you can hear my dog in the background playing with his squeaky bloody toy. God, he's a pain. Um, Alright, let's go to Salt Lake City, Utah. We'll head to our gig at the David Corrington, I think it was, theatre. So these two are going to be pretty good once we've learned them, of course. So 1500 capacity. Uh, not, uh, not even a thousand people. Where are all the fans at? Come on. We're still smashing out um, our set list though. It's really good. Slow night. Merchandise counter. That's because not many people were here. Um, everything's good. Nothing to even worry about. Head to Reno in Nevada. Alright, another call from New York. No thank you. Actually, let's have a look at the map. It's probably not close enough, I don't think. Uh, New York, no. I think Bakersfield had somewhere we could have went to. Um, for 290 something thousand. So we'll see how we go at the end of this gig if we've got $300,000 or not. Well, at the end of this tour, I should say, not gig. Bro, we're still... Look at that, we're already at 100%. We've still got two songs to go. Smashing it out. Group of hecklers. Bloody hecklers. Can't heckle us. Um, everything's pretty good. Now, popularity of Bone Crusher, 31. It's pretty good. I don't know what archive means. Hopefully we don't completely forget it if we do archive it. Um, but we'll get him to full songwriting. And then smash out some stage presence. Right, we need to travel to Sacramento. For our next gig. Um, okay, Albert Harrell, Los Angeles. We'll Click on him as well. Um, screenshot, I should say. How many t shirts have I got? 274. Kramer Denton. I don't know who's going to be the best guy to go with, really. Right, David Holbrook Theatre. Just make sure there's no more phone calls. No, that should be good. Right. Um, uh oh. What happened? Phone crusher. Okay, because I archived it, it disappeared. Thank God for that, don't archive it. Definitely don't archive it. Um, on tour, River for the Wolf. Archive that. Probably get rid of that actually. On tour, River for the Wolf. And Starless Sky. Actually, no, not that one. What other one we don't play? Uh, Darling, I'm insane. Uh, might as well leave that there, I guess. Alright, start the gig. I want to replace that She Loves Another, because it's not quite a hundred. is isn't bad, but... I want to try and get a hundred across the board for all our songs. We're just absolutely smashing out these performances. Uh, merchandise is busier than usual. Good, 361 copies of Bone Crusher. Um, 89 copies of the single. 24 shirts sold. Just want to keep an eye on that. Everything else, we've got stacks of stuff in stock, so. Well, let's go to San Francisco. The Abe Samuel Theatre. There's a chauffeur there, we'll head straight in and play straight away. Let's try and get through this pretty quick. Got, I think it's a two-month tour that I booked, so this whole month and all of next month. 
so we're going to be pretty busy for a little bit. We're still not selling out though, I know we're not the lead, um, the lead band or anything, but... Alright, overall audits went crazy over the performance. Um, yeah, so we're still making decent cash. So what's that? So 3,000 minus that, so it's say two, three and a half, yeah, about three and a half grand or so, I guess. I can feel the Up to 233,000, so can't this complain at all. Um, that's all this month and all next month. Oh, we've got a big gap there, actually. Need to find somewhere to stay. Brooks Bar. Home for sale, we don't want to stay there. Let's go to Amber's Hotel. Check in. Um, everyone should have a hundred. Pretty much everyone has a hundred, so we might actually rest. Um, go the silent invention. Come in here and watch the Battle of the Bands. Why not? Now we're sort of out of towners. Come in here and say hello. See what's going on. It's one thing we didn't do. We didn't win a battle of the bands, which I'm a little bit disappointed about. But other than that, I think we've been doing pretty good. Happiness, inspiration, some reputation, relationships, I should say. Um, minus 96 bucks. Where's the map? We went all the way down there. Uh, actually, not there. We'll go to Erica's hotel this time. Check in. Should be a fancy room. Uh, let's write another song. Ah, uh, 35. 38. So that's pretty good if we go 19. We're up to 92 already. 13, we're well over a hundred. Um, our next song, um, two by Thomas Madsen, Shattered and Broken Hearted. Um, Renegade's banging, darling, I'm insane. Let's go for a fast song, I guess, and we'll call it Shattered. So, Shattered, yes. So, I'll just make sure I tick these off as we go. Um, shattered. One more song that he's suggested. So, um, climbs 128 positions. That's good. Sold some more units. Great to see. Actually, wonder what our equipment's like. Not too bad, I guess. But we'll try and have a look. So we're going Salem. Wow, Salem, Oregon. That's a fair trip. Right, let's go to Max's discount music and let's repair all of our stuff. Right, repair everything. Um, actually, can I not? Okay, see, so it's got five repairs up here, but when I right click, I can't actually repair it. Which is fine. Um, drum heads. Let's have a look at the drum heads. See. Oh, stage presence. Grab 10 of those. Playing and songwriting. These guys. Nothing. Stage presence and songwriting. We've got playing. Ah, grab those symbols. So we've only got one pack of symbols left, which isn't great. Playing and songwriting. Guess we'll just buy two of those. Actually, now we've got more symbols here, don't we? Heaps more drumsticks and stuff too, so won't have to worry too much. God, we've got heaps of stuff we're not even using that I haven't even sold yet. And carrying these around with us everywhere. Alright, that's better. Um, let's look at his strings. He's got plenty of strings, I think. Stage presence and playing. 
None of those are actually any good for us. Um, get rid of that, that doesn't really help either. Quite like pretty good stuff for everybody, I think. Um, guitar strings. I think we're all pretty good. 46, 49, all that sort of stuff. Yep, that's all good. All right, let's go to the Ricardo Brody Theatre. 1500 capacity. Try and smash out some more, um, some more gigs, I guess. So all those new songs we've written, they can be our new recordings and stuff as well. So it's good to be able to write when we're on tour as well. Saves a bit of time for when we get back. Um, 215 copies of Bone Crusher, 18 singles, 16 shirts. Awesome. Let's go to Portland, Oregon. Looks like we're heading to Seattle after this. Um, does it tell us how... I don't think it tells us how car damage, does it? 19 shirts, so we've still got plenty at the moment. I can't wait to be playing in these big stadiums and stuff. It's so cool. Already at 100%. We're absolutely killing it. Got him dance. Got him dances like a legend. Play better than me. Still no fans though, which is a bit of a bummer. Thomas is absolutely killing it. Now let's go to Seattle, Washington. We're going to go to Spokane after that. All right, 1,500 people again in the Kane Denny Theatre. God, my dog is really annoying the crap out of me this morning. Keeps coming and pulling on the cord for my bloody headset. Right, smash another performance. Group of hecklers. Bloody hecklers. Just because they're not making money like we are. Alright, so where are we going now? Spokane, Washington. And we're travelling a fair way after this. Uh, so, Lance Wells Theatre. Nine songs, only a thousand people. Let's hope we sell out. No, 908. Still can't sell out. I think it is just, you know, gaining our reputation all across the country, though, which is good. 233 copies of Bone Crusher. Wow. And a single went pretty good. Oh, where are we heading after this? We'll go over to Minneapolis. And we're doing the I guess the east coast after this. Let's see if we can find somewhere to um somewhere to stay. We've got plenty of time to get to where we need to go, so oh, Lawrence Hotel, yep, we'll check in here. Let's have a look at our inspiration. So we could probably go and check out a a band tomorrow night. Or now tonight. What's it guides? The German Woman. Uh, the Easy Music. We'll go to the German Woman because there's more bands playing, I guess. Come in here and check out what's going on. But nearly got 250,000 on us, so that's pretty good. Got some good cash. Let's hope we can get well above 300,000 by the end of the tour, but I don't know if we're going to get there. Gain some reputation stuff, which is good. Uh, go to Sabrina's Hotel to this time. Cheap, dingy place. Let's um, write another song. Ooh, 37 is good. A 50 rhythm. 43 melody. 17 for me. Okay, so Thomas, Thomas, me. What about Brock? Brock's there, so we'll put Brock in there. That's a really bloody good song, actually. Um, we'll go Broken Hearted, which is another one by um, Thomas Madsen. 
play that as another fast song. Um, let's just tick all that off. Minneapolis, two days. Must start travelling there now. Yep, let's go. Glad it's, glad it's show city names. I'd have no idea where we are otherwise. Uh, Bone Crusher, comms 32 positions. 1,343 units sold. Renee Moyer Theatre. How are we going? Um, plenty of stuff in stock, plenty of shirts. We're not really selling a great deal of shirts, so... Should have heaps in stock. Still not selling out. On the tour, maybe once we get to the east coast, we might start to sell out a bit more. Being closer to our old home. Slow night, the merchandise counter. Oh well, it is what it is. Not too worried. So where are we going to? Jeweler from Minnesota. Lara Causey Theatre. So when I chose to search for a tour, I made sure we had at least 1,000 capacity at all venues. I don't want to be playing in front of small crowds anymore. Now we're pretty, getting pretty good now. Absolutely smashing out these performances. Question Dust Counter was busy. 551 copies, that's the most ever we've sold. Bloody hell, that is good. That is very good. So what about web distribute? Is that us? Web distributed? Um, that doesn't tell us how many we've, we've sold and they've sold, but really 30,000 in total is pretty good. Um, how long have we got to get there? Thursday. Let's just travel there now, I guess. There's not much else on. Oh, it actually took us two days to get there anyway. Alright, Cody Oliver Theatre. Uh, yep, thousand people. Let's hope we can... Nope. Still didn't fill out. Fill out the theatre at all. Alright, I went crazy over our performance. Didn't sell a great deal of stuff, but... See, Bone Crusher, Bone Crusher is going good. 43 popularity. Very good. So where are we going now? Chicago is our next gig. Um, it's the weird part of the night. You're with Shady really don't have anywhere to live at the moment. And we got like two weeks off, so... Maybe we can try and find somewhere here. Buy it. Stay here for two weeks, then sell it back again. Um, home for sale, there we go. Please be a cheap one. Yep, that'll do. Congratulations on buying a new home, yay! Although it's not great. Um, everyone's going alright. Where's our concert guide? Tomorrow night. Um, go there tomorrow night, I guess. Just check out some bands while we're here. Let's try and repair some things. But his repair skill hasn't gone up at all. Let's practice all of our new songs. Um, don't even play that song anymore, do we, darling? I'm insane. Don't think so. Today's Valkyrum's birthday. Happy birthday, Valkyrum. Right, let's go. Song lists. Uh, darling, I'm insane. We'll archive it. Right, so how many songs have we got? 13. And 5 that we can actually... Um, five that we can actually... Record. Could do a bit of recording while we're here, I guess. Try and get some more songs written, though. Uh, relax, enjoy a night out. Right, let's go home. How's everyone going? 85, so not quite ready yet. We probably could get away with writing another song right now, but... 
Won't do it. See how we go. Okay, so he's gone up another level. Let's go. Stage presence for Brock. Tonight, um Bat Arms in the camera and babies. Go there, we're gonna see these guys. Um, chauffeur. This should get us up above or up to nearly a hundred percent. Yeah, money inspiration, good. Should be pretty good. Yeah, everyone's good. Alright, let's go and write another song. Okay, so write song. Um, rhythm of 44. Lyrics of 45. Let's go 40, 35, 41. That's not going to help. Uh, 23 and 20, that'll do. Thomas Falcon, Brock, Brock. Have I got anything decent down here? 9, 18. Oh, I can't get it in though. Alright, that doesn't matter. So, um, four of these good ones. We might go for a medium pace song. What's the next one? The next one's going to be called Iconic. Um, we might actually skip one. We'll go Dock of the Bay by um, C Slow Videos. I think there might be a song called that in real life, actually. I know, I think there's something similar to that. Um, Alright, let's go practice for three days. All right, they should be a hundred. Oh, not actually. Practice for one more day. Get rid of that. We'll practice you for two days. These other ones have dropped a bit, but we won't worry about that. Um, let's come into Al's studio. Wonder if we can actually. She loves another, we don't need to worry about that. Yeah, we actually need to find a better, better studio, I think, because that's just not going to cut it. Hopefully we can find one up here somewhere. Alright, so make sure we sell um, up before we go. There you go, 146 an hour. Should be fine. Skill 27? Who's our producer? Actually, we got rid of our producer, didn't we? Oh, damn. Well, that's not going to help. Um... How much is this going to cost us to get it to 100%? Can't even get it to 100%. Well, um, 146 an hour. Maybe we can find one a little bit better. I don't know. It's a garage. Do we need to take our car to the garage actually because it's going quite slow at the moment. I don't think there's any more places around here that we can actually... No, there's not. Wait, never mind. Um, concert guide. It yeah, will go here. Always go to the Battle of the Bands. This gives us more reputation with um, a lot of bands in one go, especially the new up-and-coming bands too. Right, let's watch the show. Interesting outfits. The Shrill Victory. Awesome. Um, yep, yeah, let's go and I um, guess we'll look and see if we need to practice anything. I think we can practice to get these other guys back to 100% again. Alright, pretty good. Concert Guide. Nothing tonight. I was hoping to get those recordings done, but now, yeah, bugger. So what's tonight? Cody Theatre. Yeah, we'll go here. Go 
go out watch all of these because we might be able to write a song on that last night if we're lucky that means we'll have a few decent songs ready to record all right go home we'll rest again we can actually change around our um oops wrong button change around our songs and stuff for our next lot of gigs put in some of our new songs and see how they go got some more inspiration not quite ready yet but we should be ready after tomorrow night maybe and I should keep everyone happy as well um, let's or actually not yeah sell it now uh, we'll show further there. Make sure we don't forget to sell it. That's the main thing. Right, inspiration. Yeah, we're not quite ready yet. Which, honestly, it's probably still enough. So, we'll just go to a hotel, check in and try and write a song. Look at that sexy man. Anyway, let's um, write a song. Go write song. Ah, uh, 44. Yeah, so that wasn't as good, I don't think. 31. 5. 2. 7. They're 36. 16 31 that gives us 90 so that should still be enough though um, go with iconic that was um, suggested by Delaney Mobley or Mobley I should say not Mobley Mobley right, so we'll write that song we have to travel now to Chicago Illinois for our next gig Chauffeur to the Dita Angle Theatre. Um, Alright, so we want to go get rid of Renegades Banging, Dock of the Bay can go in third. Um, she loves another. Get rid of that, put in Starless Sky. So Wicked Soul and You Rock My World. So You Rock My World can go. Night Fire. Uh, Wicked Soul can go. Shattered. Broken Hearted. Needs to go in somewhere. Maybe Simulation Station can come out. broken-hearted in there that still should be good I'll screenshot that as well you never know unless our songs are too good we shouldn't have any issues star of the sky bone crusher nah, everything's still pretty good uh, they went crazy Got to hang out with other bands. Let's have a look at this. Enjoyed recognizing. Recognizing, yep. So nothing outstanding by the looks of that. But still. So I've played here before in Indianapolis. So let's go to the Nadia Moya Theatre. Uh, yep, start gig. Try and smash out another gig. This is going to be another decent length um, episode. I know you guys have been wanting to see a little bit longer as well, but I want to get this um, tour finished. Still not selling out. We had some fans. Woohoo! Some albums sold, t shirts sold. 77 t shirts in stock, so I might need to get some more. Let's go to Louisville, Kentucky. Have you been here before? 
I don't think so. Actually, yes, we have because we can tell by the map. Right, let's go this way and see if we can. I think we need to fix our van. There's a printing shop which is going to help. Uh, buy shirts. Let's go with. Uh, 223 get us 300 I hope we can find some way to fix our car I haven't looked at the map yet it's probably somewhere on the map I've already seen uh, let's go map no we haven't seen anywhere yet Sergio Saucier. Oh, there's nothing this way. Let's go down through here and see if we can. Maybe find something. There should be a workshop here somewhere. Right, not that way. Studio. Clothing place, clothing place. Oop, Bill's garage, there we go. Repair. It wasn't that bad, to be honest. I could just tell that it was a bit slower than normal. Still didn't sell out, but we're not far off. Only, what, 43 people short of being sold out. Absolutely. Killing it again. 191 copies, t shirts. Yep, awesome. Let's go over here. Check in. Can we write a song? Not quite. Alright, well, let's quickly save the game. And rest. Balls, we fell. No. Can't turn around quick enough. Uh, Eighty-one dollars, not really that good. Nineteen dollars, hundred dollars, one eighty-five at Seth's studio. So I'll right-click that for now. One eighty-three. 125, yep, so Seth's studio. And let's um, record some songs. So we don't really need to worry about that one. We'll start at the top, we'll go Dock of the Bay. Um, we'll go this guy. How much is it going to cost us? So 6,300. What if we change it to cheaper guy? Can't quite get there. 163, 62, 64. Right, boom. State Theatre, Lexington, Kentucky. It's another song release, though. So we don't want to put anything that's on our other CD. It's one thing we need to make sure we don't do. So it's head to Lex Lexington, Kentucky. Chauffeur and start the gig. So now we're making pretty decent money. We don't really need to worry about buying equipment and repairing it and all that sort of stuff. We've got some pretty good cash. It's just early on, I think we really need to do that. This is definitely the way to go with nine, nine songs. No fans, sold a few things. Let's go to Columbus, Ohio. Definitely played here, I think. Maybe not. Chad Burnt Theatre, 917 people, so still really not selling out at the moment. Alright, 
smashing out the gigs though. Some extra popularity there with the song, some good sales. Uh, everything was pretty good. Buffalo, New York is our next gig. Gloria Roden Theatre. Now let's actually quickly duck into Emil's deluxe music. Let's go repair. Uh, let's go guitarist, expert, songwriter. Now we want someone that does producing, I think now. So we can just still self-produce, or self-write, and well not self-write, self-produce our songs. But he loves doing that little shimmy shake, doesn't he? 75 copies of that CD or the album, that's pretty good. Baltimore, Maryland. Devon Mercier Theatre, we've definitely played here, haven't we? I'm sure, we've played here. Baltimore. Not quite sure though. So, Bone Crusher was a, an absolute hit from the start. None of these other songs have really said that anything's really a big hit, so... Um, yeah, okay, Brock's gone up another level. Five levels to go for Brock before he maxes out. Let's go to New York, New York. We'll play in the Alexa Bartley Theatre. I don't know if these are real places or not. 2,000 people. Let's get 1,900 or 1,100. That'll do. Still not great, but it's not bad either, I suppose. Alright, smash the gig. Went crazy over our performance. Still selling a lot of CDs. Still got plenty in stock. Plenty of shirts. Go to Hartford, Connecticut. We nearly finished the tour, which is crazy. It's going to be nearly an hour long episode, I think. Alright, another good gig. Didn't sell too much, but plus two popularity for Bone Crush is good. That is really good because it's now at 59, which is awesome. Um, it's actually home for sale, home for sale. We don't want to buy a house. We want to find somewhere to sleep. Which there was a place right across the road, but anyway. Check in into the dingy Susan's Motel. Save game. Uh, write a song. Riff of 32 or 33. 32 and 29. Uh, 21. Oof. Alright, take that out. 33. Go 25, 44, which already smashes us above it, and that one there. So we have Steelworker by Mike Kwiatkowski, which doesn't really work anymore because um, the reason why we were meant to do that was because we were in Pittsburgh. But, you know, it's all good. We'll use it anyway. It's not a bad song name. Alright, perfect. Climb another 27 positions, sold some more CDs. Let's head to Manchester, in New Hampshire. Um, home for sale, home for sale. Don't need to worry about those places. Let's go to the gallery. We haven't been to a gallery yet. Um, metal tree, 404. Floating baby man. 
Yeah, let's buy that. Um, let's buy that too, why not? Uh, I don't know what this is, but yep, Metal Abstract 2 or 3. Home Sweet Home, yep, we'll buy that. Barn by Shady O'Grady. An Eyeball by Michelle Pope. Uh, Desert Anomaly. It's actually a pretty good picture. Kilcanny Base. Country Store at Night. Grapevine, which is. Yeah. And God. Rays. It's pretty good. Should have 100, 100 for everybody, which is good. Could write another song straight away. Check in. Let's um, check myself out in the mirror. Um, let's write another song. So, write song. Uh, riff of 32. 29, 37, and 10. Smashes that out. Um, keep forgetting to tick what we've done. Sim of Glory is the next one. Um, so these are the ones that we did. I think Nightfire. It's sliding away. That was ages ago, I think. Let's go by popularity because then we know what we have and haven't done. So, Shattered. Uh, we did Starless Sky. Shattered. Broken Hearted. Iconic. Uh, Dock of the Bay. Just done Steel Worker. Nightfire was before. Five, one, two, three, four, five, plus six, seven. So we can do another slow song. Um, and we'll put in Sim uh, of Glory, which was Matt 97, his idea. Alright, Manchester Theatre, Manchester. Alright, uh, New York. We don't care about New York. Play these songs. I think we want to be based out of LA. I don't know, you guys let me know what you think. Should we be based out of LA or New York? I don't know, we'll look at the look at the map at the end and I guess work it out. Um and crush another popularity. Because I guess if we're based out of LA, like there's not much over here as far as big cities. I mean, and even New York, I guess. Big cities down the coast. So New York's probably a better spot, to be honest. I think New York will be a better spot, but you guys let me know, should we be based out of LA? Or should we be based out of New York? Or should we be based out of somewhere else? Maybe Memphis. 1.23 million. What about New York? 20 million. That's why New York would be good for 20 million people. Um, what about LA? 13 million. So yeah, New York's probably the best, I guess. Memphis has only got 1.2, so I guess... I guess New York would be the best place to go, because there's 20 million people. Um, Hugo Bell. Alright, we'll check you guys out after this, I guess. Well, next episode now, because we're nearly at an hour of this recording. It's crazy how quick it goes. Alright, killed it. Absolutely killed it. Sold some more CDs. It's pretty good. 2790. What do we sell them for? $15 each. Should we sell them for 20? No t shirts for 15. I think $10 for t shirts is too cheap. Maybe that's just me though. I don't know. Alright, let's go. 
to the Chase Garcia Theatre here in Burlington. Kelvin Mesa. Everybody wants us. Oop. Don't need to do another banger. A banger. Another banner, I don't think. I think we're definitely going to keep Bone Crusher. That's just our first ever real hit. Grad must have gotten paid tonight. 151 copies, which is still pretty good. $3,000. Seven copies. Ah, t shirts. No t shirts. Okay, that might be too expensive. Okay, 10. Drop, uh, yeah, drop them back to 15, I guess. Um, Alright, let's go. Quickly back to New York. Um, Gary Hardison. Yes. Reputation of 20. Got any other guys around here? We know we don't. So we're going to have to go flying around everywhere, try and find other people. Uh, Dolph's music, Ali's music, Josh Velt, Sterile Studio, 12. Let's right click him because he's 20. Um, what I might do guys is I might just have a look around for a new manager, find out exactly who the best guy is and um, I'll sign him next episode when you guys are actually here. But um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode, if you did, as always, smash that like button, leave a comment, let me know what you think about the idea of staying in New York, I think it's the best idea because there's 20 million people, so, you know, it's a great, great enough reason for me. But um, if you guys have got any other ideas, suggestions, anything you want to see that I haven't done yet, let me know. Leave it in the comments section. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Brito. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.